seems just want Denny and look more like a crap. Everybody, I'm half an hour late once again. Apologies, I was on the phone with my dad. He called literally five minutes before I was about to go live. Um, we were making dinner, no less. Uh, so you get to enjoy me watching eating burritos again, uh, which is super fun. I'm realizing I really should have filled up my drink before sitting down, but here we are. I don't want to make you wait like another 10 minutes as I normally do. Samuel, if you were here, please. Plus. Pretty plus. I would appreciate it if you were plus. I do not know if he can hear me. I'm just going to be like. Boy. Ah. Oh. I have. Oh. Okay, I've sent him a message in the hopes he'll bring me um, a drink. Oh, I'm Canadian! And I know I said I wasn't going to, uh, but my reason is I started drawing earlier today, and I kind of feel like I may be able to get them done. Like, that's my plan, that's what I'm hoping. I'm going to eat a little bit first, but I, I don't know. I am hoping that I may be able to get some of these done. Um, because I actually successfully got the squash. Squash, please. <laughs> oh my gosh. Thin, right? No, I love him. Okay. Um, I forgot what I was going to do. I actually managed to get, um, that's uh, supposed to be in one, um, but I managed to get one new alert thingy drawn. While I was off, basically I got very distracted by like four different things, um, and I got a sketch done for another one. So, very close to getting all of them done, I'm not gonna lie, and I'm very excited for that perfect. Scared me again. <laughs> I don't know how you keep doing this. Yep. Mm. Hello, Papa. I heard the music's not too loud. It sounds really loud on my side. Drink, drink, drink. <laughs> How is everyone, by the way? How are you all doing? I hope you're having a good day. Um, she feels surprisingly okay since I've had work. <laughs> I only it started at six a.m. instead of a uh, four. Uh, instead of sorry, no, yeah, four instead of four, which is very nice. I feel like I'm slightly out of focus. It may just be that I've got a red chin right now. It's weirding me out. Okay, that was way too off for me. No, that was out of focus. Mm. I realise it kind of looks like I'm trying to eat out of frame. I'm just actually trying to eat over my plate. Because the plate is here. Uh, so I go to here to try and eat over it. But... That is very successful. Nine times out of them. Gosh, my throat is having trouble. Chat, I saw someone say drink drink, and that is my mood right now. I think it's Sam. Uh, Sam uh, said drink drink drink. Because she went and grabbed me a drink. <laughs> Come on, so much. How are you doing? I'm not a fan of the mayo. Well, that could be the weird cheese. Um, and by weird cheese, I mean mild cheese. Do you want a drink? Go get yourself a drink. I'm glad. And Sam, you're right. It does just taste like rice. What do you mean no drink? Should you get a glass of water?
I feel almost like I should actually show what my plans for today are, but... Oh, I see. Oh. I just have squat off. Um, like current apple specifically. So, that is not today. And definitely not today, because I have work at 6am. I'd like to do a stream where I casually drink, but then at the same time I don't know how well that'll go. And I looked up the policy. You're allowed to. As long as you don't get, like, overly drunk. You're allowed to drink on stream. I do apologize for just all the eating right now. Um, it's the cheese that's giving me a weird flavor right now. Could also though be because I had I ate mature cheese earlier, and this is mild. So, okay, welcome to the stream. I was really late. Um, you may have seen. Well, I've been here when I explained why I was really late. I was really late because I was on the phone with my dad. <laughs> Called me five minutes before. Me. I was, like, getting ready to go live, essentially. Ooh. Do it. Oh. Well, today's been interesting. I went to work, finished not too late, couldn't find cumin anywhere, uh, Phidias. I ended up having to go to Waitrose, which is a very expensive shop in the UK. I'm paying £2 for 50 grams worth of ground cumin. Absolutely appalling. <laughs> then we made these. I made way too much rice. Um. <laughs> Hell yeah! I come and drive. Then do some drive. Speaking of drawing, let me show you some of the drawing. So, hello. This is one of the drawings I've done. This is actually what I did in the stream yesterday. Today, I got done this one. Which looks really sad, but it's not meant to be super sad. Um, I can, I guess, I might as well show you what notification sound this is meant to have. Let me just go ahead and find it. It's going to take me a second. So, this emote is meant to have the notification alert of... She deserves nothing! I feel like you should have been able to hear that. Um, but here's the thing. This is a bit emote, which is why that's funny. First of all, bit of that. Second, there's a little part in here. A uh, little part in here. So, you know, she does deserve stuff. She deserves a bit of love. <laughs> That's all I got done today. The one I'm working on is this. Oh no! How do you have no bread? Do you have wraps? <laughs> I'll continue. Um, you got a pack of Oreos and cat food. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> um, so this emote, once it's done, is to do with this audio.
Which, if you know, you'll know. So, Alexa, let's play to eat cat food. I, it just comes to my head. So don't do that. That is not healthy. Also, Sam, I personally don't like my own cheese. And it's only really set in today after having some proper good mature cheddar that mild is just not good at all. Okay, I'm just going to shove my necklace on because I took it off earlier when I had a shower and it feels weird not wearing it. Oh. Alright, let's get strawberry, shall we? She says, immediately pulling out her headset. You're going to the shop. <laughs> get yourself some good food, yeah? Right. So, as I've already mentioned, this is my sketch. This is what I'm going to be working with today. Uh, let me get some lines up. They always start with the hair. I found that just works best for me. Oh, let's get into 80. I feel like I remember saying I wasn't going to do this yesterday. Like, this wasn't something I wanted to do today. I wanted to play a game, and I came back and immediately got into drawing these again. Which is nice, because that isn't usually what I'm like when it comes to drawing. I'm usually very much goes for an hour and then it's just a bit like exhausting any time after, you know. This is also slightly different to a lot of the other like emotes that I've had. I say emotes, they're all alerts, but like it's slightly different with the hair that is falling in a different way. I feel like it makes sense for someone that's like, you know meant to be singing a song, you know? Don't know how to do a line with good line weight right now. There we go. That's better. Oopsie. But no, I think it's going to be alright. I think I'm going to be able to do these and Maybe even finish them off tonight. My goal is to finish maybe all but my variation emotes. So the variation uh, bit alerts that I have. Like, if you don't know what I'm talking about, first of all, it's where you can pick, essentially, for there to be some emotes that... Sorry, some alerts that go off specifically if you use... X amount of bits. So for example, I have one for 69 bits, one for 21 bits, one for 3. Uh, I don't know why the 21 bits is 21. I honestly haven't ever figured it out. And I've been thinking to myself about it a week. I'm just like, why was it 21? I do not remember. And I have a feeling I just never will. So it might as like I might as well just accept it at this point. You know? I might as well just accept it. But I haven't had a time doing that, because I'm just like, I want to know. Just tell me. Not that I can tell myself something I don't remember. But I wish you could. I feel like there's a lot of people who wish they could do that, though. Remember things they have forgotten. I feel like that would be a very useful thing to be able to do. Uh, considering we are forgetful beings. I say, rather weirdly. I don't know, in my head that was weird. Okay, I like that. I'm honestly shocked by how much I'm liking these lines that I'm currently doing. I just think yesterday was a bit of a bad art day, barring that martini glass. That martini glass, I say martini, but like that glass that I did yesterday. Uh, with what was meant to basically be tequila is top notch. So, it's me. Even now, like in my head, it's like top notch drawing. 
despite the fact like it's not detailed, like I wouldn't necessarily be like I want I want that on my wall. But okay. I definitely want it in my streams. I'm also taking the line variation I've got going on in this drawing. I would just forget about line variation when doing a lot of this stuff. Just gonna kind of casually pop it in here, like almost as if it's coming from behind it instead. Because uh, I want the hair to essentially be behind it. Okay, let's get the head out of the way. Uh, I'm quite enjoying this playlist, and it also hasn't seemed to have gotten copyright claimed on YouTube, which I'm a big fan of. Because I've had it in the past where, like, I've used something that says it's copyright free and then it ends up getting copyright claimed anyway. Which is really sad when you don't want to have, like, your content ruined. Uh, but even so, I still have, like, the copies of everything, I guess. Okay, we got the top to draw. I feel like one of the hardest things to always draw is the face. Like, it always just feels odd to draw. I will have to adjust the hair here a little bit for this to make some sense. For example, pulling that in, pulling this out. Um, and then I have to refix the top. Without him. Uh, and then also refix up the hair. Hey. <laughs> okay, I also need to finish the hair, I just realized. Um but firstly, let's just get the rest of the top out of the way. Which we're also going to need to have a lovely little line going across here. There you go. I just like having everything not just kind of end suddenly. Uh, let me go back to the hair. I'm just going to... Oh, I can't turn it that direction. I want it that way. Hmm. I feel like almost this line, whoa, not that big, needs to be slightly thicker, and then as they come along, they get thinner. <laughs> I Me not mean, actually trying to play with line weight, like, I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I hardly know I'm talking about kids. Okay, we've got the ear to do. Honestly, shouldn't be too hard when it comes down to it. Hmm. 
As long as that's above the hair, then I can follow into that slime. I know you the hand. You can tell I'm just leaving it to the end. And by leaving it to the end, I mean I'm leaving the um the face to the end. Maybe that's a bad habit, but like scary stuff. Just wish it was thicker at the sand, you know. Mm. And to fix my weird little thickened issue, I need to play around. But I need a different angle for me to actually do these lines. Okay. Do, do, do. I'm not mad at it. Okay. We now need the heart, which I think I will keep. I really just drew it as like a... So I have an idea of why I've like done it the way I have. You may even leave it with this like little clump, almost to, like signify a fish, because you know that's the whole theme here. Okay, now we got the face details, which are always super fun to draw and definitely never look weird. I need the mouth. I honestly think I can make this shape work. I think the eyes are slightly in the wrong place. Um, aren't they always though when I draw these? We always feel like they end up in the wrong sort of position. There we go. Am I going to leave the eyebrows like how I have? Yes, most likely. I may make it shorter on that side though, so it feels less tender and more sinks. I guess is the only way I can think of putting it. <laughs> Just bring it down a little bit more. There we go. Now it feels right. <laughs> And I'm actually shocked that it took so little time to draw them. Um, I'm just going to try and do my little complete folder. Mainly so I can do... Oops, I have eyes selected and stick. So I'm just thinking about ever so slightly changing the angle. make it like that and I'm just then change the heart as well. Right. Now it's time for everybody's favourite bit. Colour. Colour's one of the easier bits because I just do it simple. I don't go crazy with it. I like it to be easy to recognise, especially when it maybe seems small. Um and also for me to recreate it it's easier. Because I may want to use things like this, um, and I've mentioned it a few times. Uh, I have like ideas 
the ways I could use these in a different way other than just my Twitch. And I'd like to be able to actually possibly use them that way, which is one of the reasons why I try and make sure they look good in both directions, just in case. Um, that is something I wish to do. Because my main goal at the minute is to make sure they are facing the right direction. Uh, so basically, what I mean by the right direction is they are on... So the text will be on the character's right hand side. So this side, basically. Or this side, if that's clearer. Um, and so I try and have them all facing, unless the whole joke is that they're not facing it. So I'll show you an example of that in just one second once I've finished lining up my hair here. Let's see why I'm doing this in just one second. Okay. Uh, so for example, one of the examples of where this is, the raids. Mitch Real side seems like they got scared. Um, which is the point of that one. <laughs> okay, let's do skin now, because usually I start with the skin, but this time I did for whatever reason. Do, 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 do. Okay, we've got the head. I don't know why I always go around these as if, like, I need to. Uh, we got the. Whoopsie, I've just done the wrong layer. We have the hand. Whoops, bucket. Bucket. Why is it from? Oh! Achievement Hunter. <laughs> I was confused. I was like, where did I get that from again? Wait. It's... Also, I've been wearing these glasses a lot because I actually don't remember where all the glasses are anymore. Like, that's where I've got to with it. I just don't, don't remember. I feel like my neck, like, the neck would be out this long normally. Like, I feel like you'd at least see a line here. Happy with that. Okay, let's do the top just so we've got the top done. Nice and coloured. I must say, this is probably one of the more boring. Oh, I didn't finish off the ear. Okay. This must be one of the more boring things to watch when it comes to drawing. Uh, at least when you're just doing basically flat colours. Um, which I have done for all of the years. I was just watching someone just flatly colour in a bunch of things look very similar to each other. It's time to colour in the ear. Ooh. I'm gonna have to just erase that part of the hair. Because this technically needs to be behind it. But it can't also be on top, so bye bye. Slight layer. There's the hair. I feel like that ear is a lot bigger than like every other ear I've ever done, but oh well. Also, one bit that's gonna really help this look less weird right now is going to be the mouth and the tongue. So let's just get that done, shall we? Because it just looks like she's got skin in her mouth currently because I haven't painted it any colour. Let's just do the tongue. Can't even spell the word tongue. Not that I think you guys can even- no, you can't even see that when I do that. So. That always must seem a bit odd. How do I even have the tongue line work? 
Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Oh, and then I need... Not that one. Not that one. I actually need the red from here. Let me just find it. There we go. Copy. Boop. And boop boop. Here we go. Give me that. Erase that. Change the name. To heart. Put it on heart. Less colour than heart, shall we? Okay, so one thing I've been like trying to include in all the bits is these little like bubble sort of situations. It's been in all of them so far. And it feel weird for that to stop now. Um, so firstly, I want to lightly change the shape of the heart to give it more of like a pump, you know? Let me just erase some of my colour here. Um, and like, I can technically do it in red. I may also actually not have this like Oh. That's really annoying me. Okay, so for example, I'm just gonna leave it like that. Like, I may just have these dots being like, around. Like, they look a little weird. Um... There's then like, slightly smaller ones. I don't know. I'm kind of liking it, kind of not. Like, I don't think it makes a lot of sense. Oopsie. For that. Maybe if, like, it was, like, here. And they were like low key music notes. Maybe the heart should be a music note. Maybe we just shouldn't have the heart. And instead, we should. Oh my gosh, I'm doing the wrong thing. We should take this. I'm almost tempted as well. So, all these dots here are like not this light blue that I've got here. And I'm tempted to come in here and change it all. Whoopsie. I'll just do it this way because it's slightly easier. Um, I don't know if it's, like, as obvious then, though. I feel like they show up better when they're that dark, which is weird, because usually I wouldn't believe that. But I'm thinking of maybe doing that again, just, like...
It's trying to find out a way to include them. And I definitely didn't think about it this time. Like maybe something like that, so then it looks like it's like singing. Maybe not that one. Or that one. Maybe instead of that one, have one that's like lower down. Like more like here. And instead of this one and this one, it's more like this one. Whoops. It's more like this. That one. Even smaller. I feel like that's overdoing it. I'm actually going to erase that dot there as well. I'm not necessarily... ...happy with the way that would look either though. Like I almost... I don't know how to explain it. Like I want it to kind of like perm. And then I honestly think this one's not needed at all. And then if I just do a very... Tiny dot there. Come on, how do you feel? Remember, this goes with this audio. Um, like, does that make sense? Or do I really need to add in, like... Yeah, my brush is way too big for this. I didn't mean Like so I'm just in a trouble cloth there
Carmen will like the end note is on it. I feel like it's the symbol. Obviously, I am just drawing very random notes right now. Like, the intention was not to be accurate. <laughs> just to be interesting. And embellish it a little bit, because it's a bit... Uh... What? What symbols even are there? I don't necessarily want letters. I almost kind of like having the sharp symbol. I think I may leave it like that. Um, I'm just gonna put like music. I'm not sure how I feel about the hair at the minute. Because it feels so different to like um, any no <laughs> real one. It feels so different in comparison. Also, the ears kind of put me off right now. Uh, so I was planning on coming back in and just ever so slightly. doing that and then also sugar just moving this on it so like slightly more in the middle okay save I also want to select so I'm gonna resave I'm gonna recenter it. There we go. And boom! There we go. That's the uh, ten thousand bit drawing done. It's honestly not a very like in comparison to the five thousand bit. Which one do you prefer? Which which how many bits you plan to give more? You know, I'm kidding. Obviously, uh, this is if I had money for this, this would be the most as opposed to this one, but... Ooh, I've just realised one extra thing I can put into this music. Just like a little heart, because that's what I was going to have there originally, you know? It's like maybe... Maybe like that. Yeah, that's cute. Okay. So with that, I have the 10,000, the 5,000, the 1,000, and the, like, the one default until 100, basically. The only one I don't have is the 100. Now, as you can see, I have a sketch. I didn't like the sketch. That's why it hasn't been drawn yet. I've been avoiding it. Um... However, you can only avoid things for so long. So let's try this again, shall we? Let me just open up my thing so I can see you what sound I actually have for this. Oh, I need to remember I have food. Oh, I remember. Okay. The audio for this one is... So that's that note. 
kind of subtle that that's what it's meant to be. Swipe up the hand. Uh, but I'm not a fan of the entire design. I'm gonna be honest. I feel like I need to prep myself, but I feel like I should do a sketch before I actually eat food again. Okay. Loving the emotes and sounds like that. The sounds have been there this entire time, but thank you, Sam. Uh, yeah, the sounds have been here the entire time. Uh, the thing that's new is the emotes. Um, it's just taking a long time to get it. To be fair, I have this one and three more to do, which I have a couple ideas on. So if this one goes bad, we might as well just go into the other three that I know that I have ideas for. So. If we take what I basically did in my sketch last time, the whole premise was to have, like, Finger being like, Yo! You! Soldier. Boy. You know? Um, but that's not quite what I'm looking for. I would love some ideas, some inspiration, if you will. <laughs> If you have anything, you let me know. I'm trying to avoid using letters and words. They get across to everything. I also need to incorporate my dots somehow. So what can we do? We have the finger thing. With the hand. Where it's basically pointing like, you soldier boy. Um. Let's see. So, like, my other thought process was, you know, the, um,. whole like Superman thing. Um, but I'm not using full body stuff. Which was the problem with an, uh, another design idea I had. I'm trying to keep it the head, shoulders, and the hand too. So like for example donations, subscriptions Follows, raids, posts, one bit, hundred, uh, thousand, five thousand, ten thousand. This one is definitely not that interesting in comparison. So, I'm definitely stuck and I am eating burrito right now. I don't know if you can see me pulling off the knee again. I mean, you definitely can see me eating it. But calling off? No. Okay. What could... What could I do? What could I do? What could I do? This is where I ended up yesterday. I think we're going to have to skip it for now. We know it's existing. We know it's a thing, but let's leave it. Let's, for now, go to my variation 21. Now, the audio for this is... Um... In the cocoon. And essentially, similar to basically what it already is, whoops, I have just messed up one of my brushes, uh, similar to what it already is, I, uh, it's so much effort to actually tell you what these look like. Essentially, it's a bitmoji in a blanket. And it's going to essentially be that. But obviously, it's just the head. I'm just gonna... 
get me a more shape pad that I want. Okay. So, similar to every other time that I've done something, I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to draw this blanket. Because like, if I just draw the general like shape wow, that I would have for this, like this is my general character shape essentially at this point. This is its general shape, what it usually defaults to when I'm sketching it. Um, you know, it's honestly nothing too fancy, it's just body and a head and a shape. Just gonna have it be like a little hee hee. Like a little hee hee. Like it's. We're very happy to be here. You know? Um, so, firstly, we're gonna have. Okay, I'm gonna do this on a new player. So we just say this is our blanket, right? Honestly, it looks a bit like a Russian doll. I mean, what did we really expect here? The problem with this, generally, is just going to be the fact that I have to figure out... Oh. how I'm going to like get away with it if that makes sense so for example this is my hair I always have a little bit of hair poking out just so there's still that element Ooh. so there's still that element of recognizableness whoops that needs to be smaller doesn't it because otherwise it's a lot harder. Addition this whole head will need to go. Um, I'm just going to join them in the same layer at this point. does look a bit like she's in a Russian doll. Like, huh? I'm attempted to just have it be like a little like, ooh, it looks like a ghost. Sort of situation at the bottom here. Like, this is generally just what I was thinking. I'm not loving it, but I'm not letting mad at it, you know? And then maybe with like a bit of blush along the face or something, you know, you know? Okay. I like it kind of the way it was. Okay. So, with that... This is going to be hair down here. So I'm just going to lightly just be like, woo -hoo, woo -hoo, it's hair. Um, I'm going to have like a little crease here. 
to like imply the hand. You know? So let's come in and do some with the drawing. What's there is. Let's start off with the hair as usual. I just want to be with you. I just want to be with you. I just want to be with you. Oh, okay. Sorry, I had to check something just then. See, look how easy that was. <laughs> Okay, so that's my hand, currently. Um, just gonna have to put in my little frillers. Almost tempted to so just bring this down here and then we can color it in anyway. Okay, let us go to the head. <laughs> I think the whole head's gonna have to come down. I also haven't got any ears on this drawing yet, which doesn't help with the recognizability of it uh, as a current. I'm gonna do the blanket next. I've just realized. But that is technically meant to be her though. Okay, now I can finish off the blanket then. that in, pull that to like there. Okay. It looks a little bit now as if right now. But give it a second. Hey Joe, welcome to the stream! I'm no longer yet. I got inspiration to draw today, even though I said I wasn't going to because I was tired from it. But I've been drawing since before I started the stream. So I'm doing quite all right with myself. That was honestly a shockingly good line. I'm 
surprised that made it so far, I'm not gonna lie. That was a lot worse of a line, um, so I'm just gonna remove some of these horrible things. Sounds good. <laughs> Hmm. Okay. I'm not sure how even this is a if you get ready to go into college trying to get your ID card and get something about COVID guidelines. Ooh. Such fun that. Remember? <laughs> you stop tomorrow? That's really early. Then I suppose it's not early for college. Um, I don't start until the 14th. <laughs> and I have a project I need to do, so I need to get on that. You don't know when you start. Really? Oh. But you you have to go in to do stuff. Weird. Surely they would have given you a date. You're going to be in one week. Long. Oh, really? Interesting. I'm guessing you're doing a course that you need practical lessons for then. Weird. Okay, I'm See, from for my uni course, it's going to be basically everything's online unless we have a practical session. Business social, yeah. I mean, that would definitely help being in class. Um, trying to do that all over like a call would be a pain. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> That's some big brain stuff. <laughs> oh, the face. You don't like it. See, I am finding there's a lot of people who really don't like working from home. We don't get much done. I mean, fair enough. Yeah, I... I typically find I also don't get a lot done when I'm at home. Um, it honestly, I have to be in such the right mood for it. Or I have to do it on stream, which forces me to do it. Because then I'm like, I'm disappointed more than just myself and my teachers if other people watch me do it. Um, which is a weird mentality, but there we go, that's me and my brain. Welcome to it. <laughs> but I... Well, no, you like working at home, but you know... You don't like working <laughs> Yeah... Yeah... You like it because you don't do as much work, but you also don't like it for that same reason. He is a big mood. Sam's not been enjoying work at the moment. Uh, he is in a profession, like, he's in a job, as opposed to, like, classes but he didn't enjoy it when it was his classes either i somewhat did because i didn't have a weird teacher like over my shoulder the entire time being like what are you doing um i don't know sometimes i get very pressured in class so I'm like, uh, it depends what mood I'm in, sort of, person when it comes to classes at home. Oh, this makes this character look very warm and cozy, that mouth. Oh, sugar, I said I was going to put the little hand in. You don't think you'd like an online lesson? Yeah, I can't imagine you would, to be honest, if you don't. 
I, so when I was actually at uni before COVID was even like a thing that was happening, I had one online lesson. Um, I know someone who slept through the entire like first two hours of that lesson. It was a three hour lesson. And they full on was just like, oh yeah, no, I fell back asleep. I went to bed. And I was like, oh, okay, you do you. Um, I have had some online lessons though, technically. Um, just as I was like, finishing off modules so they weren't really like teach us lessons they were just catch up see how you're doing lessons yeah, you just get things done whilst the teacher's talking but like you still easy for you the thing is you can get things done at the end of the day what are they gonna do if you um but what are they going to do if you are doing work while they're talking? I've never understood teachers who get annoyed with their, like, students over them doing work while they are speaking. It's like, I thought you wanted me to do my work. I think the only time where like teachers get annoyed by it is when they're like, this is a very important thing, you need to listen to me and focus, otherwise you're gonna do what you're about to start doing wrong. I've had that a few times. And I was like, okay, that's fair. You just don't like it when I do work and listen and they just... Yeah, that does annoy teachers a lot. I just think there's a... Sometimes with some teachers, a lack of comprehension that students can do two things at once. I was personally a student, I'll be honest, that... A lot of the time, I was really bad at taking notes. Because of the fact that I would be taking notes and then they'd move on to the next thing and because I was still trying to remember the other thing that they had just said, I'd miss the thing that they had gone on to the next topic with, you know? Uh, which would be a problem because then I'd be off. <laughs> and I'd just be like, I'm... luckily I always did have some friends in my class where I'd be like, what did they just fucking say? Help me! And they would very kindly help me. Um, but it's not like that in every class, unfortunately. So, it, it really does depend. Um, no more science for you. See, I enjoyed my sciences, to be honest. Um, then again, I haven't done proper science lessons in four years. Science was too hard. I mean, yeah, I s it's different for everyone, isn't it? I was going to say I suppose, but it's different for everyone. I found, for some reason, the one science I enjoyed most um, to be the hardest, which was biology. I was really interested in biology, but it was the hardest thing for me to learn. I was really good at chemistry in the end. I say I was really good, it was just more... I was good when I was learning it. I don't remember any more of it. I don't really remember anything in particular about it anymore. Hi, Granny. Really? Why? Well, that's really annoying. I'm sorry. Of course they did. It really does frustrate me. The whole student, like, I don't know necessarily about this year, because this year was obviously a bit of a shit show with all the people's grades. Um, but you're typically marked on a curve, and so it doesn't necessarily matter if you happen to get a higher grade 
if you, um, like, you can technically get, like, a low A, but they'll just be like, oh, um, because of the way the curve works, you're gonna actually get a B. Okay. That's good to know. I, I'm glad that it's getting appealed. Um, hopefully that all goes well. <laughs> The hair behind really does help give that a warm feeling. Sorry. Did you see the head stain? You said that I should have got the green. Oof. Sounds like it should go in the direction you want it to go. You don't. You don't care. You've already got on your points. <laughs> yeah, I I find there's a lot of people who are like that. Who are just like, I've got my course, um, so I'm happy. Um, which is fair. I'm the weirdo who is not like that. Uh, I feel I get really annoyed if I get low marks in something. But I should have got something higher in. Um, because I'm an idiot perfectionist. Um, want some silence? I mean, if he's the one who's doing it and you end up getting the mark you were meant to have in the process, why not, you know? Um, yeah, knew it was wrong because you got, you are working in A and got an A and a mark and got a B. Oh. There were seemingly a lot of people like that, like, I think, um, Sam has a friend who's, like, younger sister or something. Was, like, A's, A stars and everything, or something like that, and then got, like, a C. What? Like, it, this year, like I've, like I've already said, was a massive thing. Um, and it really did kind of... Rough some feathers! Wow. <laughs> Languages are hard. Languages are hard. I, I feel... Hey, too, don't you worry, I'll get you. Uh, coursework saved you? Nice. Coursework is probably what saved me in a lot of my subjects, I'm not gonna lie. Um, especially English. I probably would have failed English if it wasn't for my coursework. Then again, I can actually probably check that. Because uh, I haven't. <sighs> Brain slightly refuses to see if that notion is true, but I have been saying it ever since. Um... Practical food, you're so bad at not even cooking. You didn't take enough photos. What? See, I had a friend who did food tech. And this so, like, then again, I don't necessarily know what it was with photos, but. Oh, you didn't have enough evidence. I mean, I guess. But at the same time, if your teacher saw you cooked these things. I don't really remember how food tech worked. Um, I haven't done it since I was 14? 14? Would have been 14. I've cooked since then. Learned how to make a cheese sauce. But I found that 
Uh, three course meal, take photos. Oh! That sounds familiar, yeah. I also do some of these little dots about. These dots are a theme throughout all my bit emotes. By the way, which is why they have to kind of exist around. Maybe that was super in the Hmm. What else? <laughs> All memories have been erased from that time. It was something simple, but you did extra stuff with it to save it, like sourcing stuff. That's fair, that's fair. See, I feel like I'd be almost interested to see how I'm doing something like that now. With, like, my expertise of living away from home. <laughs> And cooking meals for myself, you know? I feel like these polka dots are just in such a weird gamble at this point. Like, I've gone too much. I have to be a chef, you don't want to do it because the hours and pay. I mean, depending on how up, high up you are, pay can be really good. It's just getting to there is the bigger issue. But that's like that in every industry, pretty much. It's like, if you want to take the time to get up in the industry, yeah. I mean, you have two years to think about whether you want to take the direction of what you've done at college, or take a completely new direction, because... Or, you know, you don't really want to do uni, but if you have to, you will. Oh, bless you. It depends what you decide you want to go into. Some things do, unfortunately, require a degree. I like um, your ambition. You'll do it if you have to. Which, to some people's like, you're just going to do it if you have to. Don't you want to do it? But yeah, there's like, but I'm gonna do it if that's something I have to do to get to where I want, which is how it should be. You want it, you take the steps together. You won't mind being a teacher, but you'd want to punch a lot of kids. Yeah. Um. Maybe not then. <laughs> that might not be a good one. Um. Unfortunately, you would not be allowed to do that in the job. And I say unfortunately, but. You will probably get arrested. You can do a primary school. But are they really worse though? Are primary school students really worse than secondary school? Are you sore about that? I don't know. I don't know if they are, my dude. They're just younger. I mean... Secondary school students have access to dangerous chemicals. Like, I feel like I'd be more worried about them with their dangerous chemicals and... You know... Some kids with some... Some, like, young kids with their... Their safety scissors. <laughs> Less three scissors. They're hardly gonna cut through skin. You wouldn't like your sevens. To in primary the scissors. Are you sure they were safety scissors? It was just oh, oh I did not 
was literally just about to eat. Um, thank you very much. I'm gonna, with this one done, I'm gonna eat some bit. We hid it for a day because he was scared. Does she got busted? How do you accidentally cut someone's finger off? Never fire with scissors, please. It's just a mistake. Oh my god. I don't even know how you'd hide something like that. Even so. You must have been in so much pain. Bizarre, man. Oh. So I'm just kind of casually eating right now. Is it? Well, I'm glad to know his finger's fine now. You know you were once a year seven, right? <laughs> How was your journey to make a toasty like so wax? Right. Fair, fair. I do find it funny to say, okay, like so. I haven't interacted with a year seven in many years. I think the thing with year sevens a lot of the time is they're going through that awkward stage of having been the top of their school so then suddenly being the bottom of the school if that makes sense.
<laughs> I think it's mainly just like the they're used to being able to like get away with people not being like bothered by it because they're the older ones. Now it's suddenly like all these older kids are just like oh. So, <laughs> they do, they do. I had an older brother who was like in year 10, 11 when I joined. And they had friends who were in that year. His friends with my brother and stuff. So I never really felt terrified of them. I was also taller than all of them when I was in year 7. You're small. Oh, bless you. <laughs> That's probably such a loud noise. I apologize. Bless you isn't helpful. We can't make you grow. I literally have no capability of being able to do that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't think you're that small now. <laughs> Sad. Let's go back to when we were young. Uh, nothing popped up on my side saying anything got sent, so I'm not sure what message you're talking about. There's usually a pop up saying that this message is accepted. <laughs> Let me guess. Your voice dropped a bunch. <laughs> that happens over summer a lot of the time. Freaks people out. Okay, that so. I mean. I'm six foot tall, so I'm quite tall. Um, just generally. You're damn it all. <laughs> the likelihood is you haven't finished your gross book. I think one thing that a lot of uh, lads, guys, boys, I guess. I don't know, I feel like after you've all of them to address any age <laughs> of the gender of a male, um, to get is you don't stop growing until you're at 21, 25, you know? Um, but you shan't offend, okay? <laughs> um, so like, you won't be anywhere near finished Oh. Well, that was a bad line. <laughs> mood, Joe. Mood. I think the problem is now, like, so you've made such a big deal out of it that now we're just curious as to what could have possibly been so bad. So even you to say that you won't say it. Other people... You shouldn't have said so anything at all, Daniel. Our friend, you made a mistake. <laughs> I don't know how to draw a tree in the style that I'm using.
Just be rude. No, 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 I won't say. I even say it. <laughs> I just realized I still never put ears on this one, and I don't know whether it makes sense to or not. Don't need ears. But like, it's all part of the character is the issue, the ears. Really doesn't take too much time to add these on usually either. I mean, yeah, they could be under the blue thing, or they could be awkwardly popping out, which is the other option. I'm going to put them on for now, because I can easily remove them if I choose I don't want them. You know? Just so I can see what the full vision of having them on would be. You think you'll do well in college, like, she'll actually work. Yeah? That's fair. I find usually when you start doing something you actually care about. Do you know you need to be got lucky with GCSE? See, a lot of people don't believe it was lucky. <laughs> You're in very much a minority with that thought process there, my friend. How I feel about the ears. I feel like it might make more sense without them. Hmm. It kind of saved your GCSE, even saved your friend because he was going to drop at college. Oh, really? Interesting. Biggie. Like he was doing college science in the morning, they would do, we just didn't care. Hmm. So this break helped him a lot. Yeah. I mean, I didn't play for, for, so, I did art and design at college in Italy, uh, when I first started college at 16, I did art and design at college, uh, I did that for a year, and by the Christmas of that year, I knew I didn't want to do it anymore, because my work ethic had been so bad, I was doing things the morning they were due, I was just not finishing work, um, and I finished off the year, passed it, barely, most likely, then started on a media course uh, at the same college. And then my work ethic for the first year wasn't the same, but it was similar to when it was like the day before it was due, doing big projects that should have been done ages ago. Um, however, in my second year, just something clicked. Then suddenly I was doing work that like as soon as I got it and it, it was it's so weird. It was such a weird like click in my head that I need to do good. I don't know, I've chosen music before, but you think it's the best for me. Is this something you're interested in? 
Well, are you like are you saying it's boring because that's what you perceive other people to believe it is? Well, that's what you believe other people perceive it is, sorry. Like, do you at least, sociology, okay, you find that interesting, right? Business, you've lost your own business and you've done test course today and it was okay. Look, as long as you have some sort of interest in the thing that you're studying, and it interests in, like, it's something you want to be able to do. I, I, I can't, I can't potentially be here and like, that's a boring thing. Because at the end of the day, you enjoy it. That's what matters. You know? My recommend is you have to get a third and don't want to do anything. Right. Okay. Interesting that you have to pick a third one. I don't know what I'm trying to do with this line, but it's weird. Oh, you have to do three courses. What? No, oh, are you doing A levels? What? Wait, are you at an actual college or are you doing A levels? A levels, okay. I was gonna say, I was like, what do you mean? You, yeah, you've been saying you're doing college. It's very different college, you just do one course. After two years. As with a bunch of different modules, which is a lot more similar to university, whereas um, six form you can. Um, I actually, in my second year of media, did have some A level students who did a part time media course. Is part time is in it? They did part of their media course at my college when we were a blended class. Yeah, but it, A level is not it's not the same at college. Um, from my own experience, I think. you said that. I mean, that's fair if you want to do more than just business and then, like, at the end of the day, do what you want to do. Don't know how to draw a tree. That's the whole thing of this. It needs to be a tree. Problem is, I'm just gonna scratch until I get a good shape. Your drink is confusing me. It's confusing you. Why? I can see it's got a purple color. Okay. But it just tastes of water. Okay. Is this like a reverse flavoured water situation you've got going on? Maybe your body all has a lot of colour but not a lot of flavour. <laughs> but that's the only thing I can think that would give such a weird, odd thing. Maybe. So, you may be confused about what's going on here. Um... Let me... Just 
very quickly kind of explain. Which not accordingly. Wow, what else you've been drinking? Just water. Or like if you've gone on a fizz binge, you know. I'm gonna very quickly explain what I'm drawing here. So this is for the three bits. We don't talk about that. Okay. Um now you're good, I'm just going with well, fair, fair. Um Where is this audio? Okay, so this is the audio for this one. So that's what we're using for this. I don't know how well you heard that, but that's what this is. And I, I, I said three, but I'm drawing a tree. You know, three tree kind of sounds the same. Like, you can just listen to it a bit. Yeah. Oh They're a lot more annoying, aren't they? Those. Because it's like, look, you're being. It's That's such a. Okay, fair. I mean. It's like, yeah, I mean, I was basically going to go into a thing of like, it's so annoying, but like, you could be mad. Because, like, you understand why. And, like, a lot of the time, most, like, you usually appreciate it. Doesn't mean it's not annoying. So, like, could you just not for one second? Please. <laughs> Literally, though. In the wrong colour now. I feel like this tree looks really weird, but we're going with it. What time is it? Oh, it's not even nine yet. Wow. I feel like we've got all the time in the world in now. Weird. Um, but you nice. Know, Yay! That's good! I'm glad, Joe. That's good. Having a confidence boost is really good. Uh, thanks so much. You hate starting a new Minecraft world so much. Is that because you have to redo everything? Bless ya. Well, I'm glad you, you're getting some newfound confidence. But you don't dislike That's the first step. Not disliking it. And that's also a big step. Uh, to get there. So. You're doing great. I'm trying to think of how to make this tree look good. But honestly, it's just going bad. Whoops. So, fat in your face will come with time as you continue to essentially get older. Um, also helps with losing weight generally, yes. But you'll find that as you get older, it'll start to drop off. I'm gonna be honest with you, it's a little, it's called a little bit of like genuine like baby fat. Of you're still aging, you know. I feel weird being like, you know, you're still going through puberty because that's not like that doesn't feel comfortable for me to actually say that. Um, but you're still getting older. You're still doing that, you know. It's like that will come with time, but also generally having less weight does help. I feel like I don't want to like, say too much because I don't want to be trying to influence you to continue to over, like, 
Because there's, there's like a fine line, I find, when talking about things like weight. Because a lot of people typically are on one end of the spectrum. Uh, and this is coming from me as someone who has lost a lot of weight, who still has quite a bit of weight on them as well. Um, where it's like some people like the knowledge, like the tips, essentially, or like to understand more. And there's other people who like say that they want to lose weight, but then also don't want to be told how to necessarily because it's harder. Like I don't know how to explain it in a in a structured way right now, <laughs> but not too much. Yeah, I mean, if you're not trying to be like tip tip tip. He's had a Get a six pack because I have no idea how to do that. I do not, I am not qualified. Um, but generally, the only thing I can say is your diet, shockingly, is one of the biggest aspects to how much you end up losing or gaining, depending on which way you go. Excuse me. That's the best you can. It is very much a step by step. You can't just go straight to doing a super fast workout, you know, or doing like heavy weights. This is not, it's not gonna work. Um, it is very much start slow, start where you're comfortable, and slowly but surely make your way up to where you wanna be. Because one thing that a lot of people don't understand fad diets or things like that don't work. They don't. You, you'll get maybe quick progress but what you'll find is in the next month or two once you stop following the fad diet you'll put the weight back um you may approach your diet yeah exactly that's genuinely one of the best things to do um when i first was trying to lose weight like that's what i did i actually ended up saying to just cut out chocolate and what the one thing that really helped me with is like um, eating less chocolate overall. I st like I still have it, but I don't eat nearly as much as I used to. He does push up for channel points. Ah, I mean it's a good motivator. That I don't know. just do it when your friend does it. I can't even do a push up. So good on you, mate. Good on you. I am not built for that in the slightest. I continuously say to myself, probably more as an excuse than anything else. Um, I've admittedly I've tried to do push-ups and I just have weak wrists apparently, and my hand, like my wrist, is in a like I can't hold up my hand. Um. You surprise yourself, well, the attendee prints, you never try to do them. Why don't you just try one? I'm glad you've got a friend that is a good motivator. And that is just being a good friend, basically, from the sounds of it. It's just helping you out and just giving you that little bit of motivation. I don't know what I'm doing with this tree. And he was like, do you think I was like, yeah, that's not gonna, I mean, no, your boundaries is good, you know, that's not a bad thing. What am I doing with this tree? That could work as a tree, what's that? Never mind, I fooled myself by doing that. <laughs> uh, that's the goal, so I can do a set of 25, which would be better. There. I mean, it hit that goal, you know? You'll... You'll get it, you know? Is this gonna be the tree that finally works? No. <laughs> Maybe I need to remove this. I mean, actually, this is kind of cute. Just 
suckers. Yeah. See, I have a friend very similar who started going to the gym. Well, I said, she did she go to the gym for a bit, uh, now that I think about it. Um, but she started working out and basically doing really well for herself with it, and it generally was one of my motivations to do better. Um, it just didn't help you, fair. The gym just isn't for everyone, and that is just an honest, like, that's just a general thing of it doesn't work for everyone. You ought to be comfortable with where you're going, you know? Tree. I have a tree. So you're a bit of a runner then. Oh, using it doesn't work for you either. Fair. See, Sam's very much into his running. Um, you just do put... I mean, it's one way to work out um, your arms and your core to a certain degree, I believe. You hate running. See, I believed the same for a very long time, and then I started occasionally doing, uh, like... So I went on a treadmill for a little bit when I was at Sam's mom's, and then... I also... When we first moved to where we currently live, I was doing Couch to 5k, and I only ended up doing one day, so I literally started work the next day. And the next time to do a run was on the Wednesday, I started on the Monday. I started work on the Tuesday. Wednesday was such a tiring day for like I'm in my job. I'm basically running around the shop and picking up items and packing items for uh, online shops, and it is so exhausting that literally for the first week and a half of my job, my legs were in constant pain that I couldn't do the runs anymore. Um. And now my job is my exercise at the minute. <laughs> so I was dying and I probably have asthma, actually, now that I think about it, um, which I have not gone to a doctor about, but I definitely had all the symptoms after that run of asthma. So there we go, that's fun. Um, but I did go to the doctor about it because I stopped doing the run, so I was like, it's fine. And again, I probably am still having slight symptoms of it. You should have it checked. You are very right. Um, but the doctor makes me... I never thought it did for like a, for a long time when I first started having to go to the doctor. Um, but going to the doctor makes me nervous, um, apparently, now. Um, so that's terrible. Like, I, I don't like the idea of talking about my issues. I never really, like, used to worry about it until I went for a reason other than just getting jabs and stuff, or just getting a shot, you know what I mean? Um, basically, my parents were like, your sleeping is really weird, you can't wake up to alarms, there must be something wrong with you. Um, and so they took me to the doctor. And like, that wasn't really the thing that worried me. Like, that was fine. That was a fine experience. I was like, okay, cool, that's fine. Uh, the thing that really tipped me over the edge, when you said me, you're a deep sleeper. See, I used to be. I used to be. Now I wake up to freaking anything. It's really annoying. I hate it. I can't get a good night's sleep. <laughs> I literally all wake up so much. And it turns out the sound's now more of a deep sleeper than I am. Um... But essentially, I only started getting worried with the doctor when I started having to go a bit more regularly. I'm not going to say exactly why, because it's private information. But every time I'd go, I'd have to get my blood pressure tested. And like the first couple times was fine. And then for some reason, I had one day where I went and it was just slightly too high. And they really did a test, and it was fine. Um, and then the next time I went, it was like too high again. They read the test, it was fine. And because every time I started going, it was just like... I, I would have this high blood pressure, essentially, and high pulse rate as well, usually. And I just feel like look, I'm really nervous, uh, eventually, as well. I just realised it was, it was like, I'm really nervous. Uh, they'd have to keep redoing it, and I just... It freaks me out, the idea of going, and just, like, 
having issues now, apparently, so that's really fun. Um, <laughs> yay. Uh, you live in a past that you've had live music on your set for heavy metal and stuff. You used to sleep through airplanes flying quite low over my house because I live next door to an air base. Um, that was when I was like 13 and younger. And then we lived not too far away from an air base when I was, uh, until I was 19. Uh, from 13 to 19. And that's probably why I was such a deep sleeper then, but like, as I got older, and I've moved around and I was moved into quieter areas, it was, um, just harder, it was just easier, like, I've become easier to wake up to. Although that was a change that happened over many years, like, over a few years, to be honest. It's hard to wake you up, you slept through a fire alarm. Oh, my mum used to be able to come in my room and hoover, and I just sleep through it. It's mainly a lot of the times when she was doing that there, I'd been up till like 6am and had gone to sleep like a few hours earlier. And so I was absolutely knackered. It's not that she didn't that, because of course I'm not going to tell my mum that I was up super late. You don't like the day. See, I used to think that, and now I really miss it now that I never see it, really. Um, oh, I didn't really ever see it. I see it a little bit more now. Basically, my job made it so that I was sleeping all throughout the day. Uh, uh, okay, fair. I mean, that makes a lot of sense. Um, I didn't really play online with anyone. When I was that, like, when I was all much younger, um, and the few people I did were people I met through, like, other friends of mine. And so I just don't really play games online with people. Um, I don't know if I've mentioned it before while you've been on my stream, uh, but I'm terrified of talking to people online. It just, the idea of it really freaks me out. Like, as in, like, in games, especially games I don't know very well. Freaks me out. You met your friends through Twitch. Oh, nice! Could it be me? <laughs> Could it be me? I'm really awkward, basically, with talking to people in messages that I don't know very well. Um, especially, I, I have a lot of... Uh, I guess anxiety is for it, in the sense of like... Especially now that I'm... Not a minor, <laughs> I'm not your friend. <laughs> like... I struggle with calling the people who choose to use my channel, which I do really appreciate, obviously, um, my friends. Because of the fact that I worry about how it could be perceived by a lot of people in the sense that, like, I I don't know how old some people are, obviously, and I'm not going to ask you for your age. Don't feel any to put it in the chat. Um, I'd actually ask you to not, really. And so I worry about the idea of almost becoming, like, too friendly with someone who turns out to be under 18 because it's not okay. <laughs> You know? Like, if, if, like, I hope you understand what I mean by that. Uh, you just don't, you don't feel... Why is that, though? Uh, you said one of the times was them coming into your entrance, right? Spoke to... Uh, okay, sorry, I missed some messages. Spoke to IRL friends and not going like twice. Really? Oh. I wasn't really speaking to a lot of my friends, um, because I was I was so far away from any of them. Like not banter, like make fun of you. Yeah. I have friends like that. They're not great people. Especially if it doesn't feel like banter on your side. Um 
That sucks. I'm sorry, yo. Uh, I, d I don't really know what I can say about it. Like, you know what I mean? Um, I'm sorry that's what you've got going on with people you actually, I, who are actually in your life, I guess, in IRL life. Um, because that's not fun. It's not. And it's not what you want. Either. At all. Uh, I was very, very lucky. It's like during high school. You know, it makes funny. Yeah. I was in a friendship group like that for a while. Admittedly, it was in primary school. Uh, as opposed to secondary school. But I, I do understand the shit of it. You know what I mean? Like, the rubbish that comes with it. It was just me and them, but never in groups. It sounds like a lot of them were trying to show off to other people. Which is unfair to you. Um, it's unfortunately, a lot of people are like them. Um, having a want. Um, unfortunately, there's not much you can do about it, and they won't get very, very far. You just see, but why do you say that? Why do you believe you're an easy target? Um, I was dirt, uh, you're not thin, you're small and you got frowning Right. People will always try and pick on things that they believe bother you. Um, and a lot of the time they're annoyingly accurate. And it's shit. <laughs> I, I don't know this thing looks like rubbish. Um, but it's rubbish. It, it's genuinely rubbish. Uh, it is, I'm trying to kind of avoid swearing, but the swear sounded far better. It's kind of like utter rubbish. I'm just gonna erase it. Um, I can say, anyway, I'm just kind of accept it. Yeah. I went through very similar things when I was younger. Um, and I'm sure there are people now who make similar jokes. Yeah. Unfortunately, like, you can't necessarily, you can't choose who your family are. Um, and people like people like to know shit and like to bring stuff up and it's just like they're being inconsiderate, childish and they don't deserve your time or your thoughts and it's I know it's easy to say hard to do I was there I've been there um, I was believed for being tall, I was believed for being fat, 
Um, like, I got randomly bullied specifically by someone who I thought was my best mate only when my dad was out the country in his job because he's in the rough. I get it. It's it's hard and the only advice I can give at the minute that I can think of because Right now, I'm just a little annoyed that people are childish, but I guess teens will be teens. Um, is don't listen to them, which is a terrible bit of advice, especially if there's someone you consider mates. Um, I hope that college will be a bit of a well, your A-levels might allow you to make some better friends. <laughs> um, or at least that you have your online friends, you know? And they're, they're good people, <laughs> at least. And they're nice to you and they're kind. I'm failing for hell. Yeah, I can see why that wouldn't help um, in terms of maybe Yeah. I will always be the mindset of when it comes to counseling. Um, because of my own personal experience with it, that it has to be your choice whether you, whether you decide that it's right for you. Can't push it. That seems like such a weird leap. To me. Oh, that's the problem with drawing it ain't got any ears. Sorry, I always do forget about the ears. Right. Unfortunately, some people are going to just assume things. And there's not too much you can do about someone's decision to assume.
you would go anywhere. I'm a little confused by that sentence. Hmm. Which was helping you. Yeah. Right. Six. People got so much time on their hands that they just have to be in everyone's business. I'm not entirely sure if what I said was audio, like audible when I said it. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not liking the hair. Why can't it just go well? I always seem to get in a rut when it comes to this. A death in a family can really change so much about a family dynamic. It's insane. Um, it's so ridiculous that people get so... Like... So concerned about what's been left instead of the fact that they've lost someone. And it, it is a funny thing how it's the people who didn't bother as much that expect so much. Hey, it's it's all right. Um, at the end of the day, 
I hope you've gotten something off of your chest and you're feeling a little better. Um, I didn't know where to, <laughs> I didn't know where to go from that. <laughs> um, why was that? <laughs> why was that a word that was so bad? Sorry, that got you got your message got put on held because it had the word dicks in it. That could be not fit. Fucking poor mod. Um. I have had a lot of shit so, uh, happen in my life with many things, with family, all of that lovely stuff. Um, so, I typically don't just have a piss out of people and open up. What, what sort of arse do you have to be to be like that? Um, like, that's such a bizarre thing to me that someone's just gonna... No. I, I don't... I don't know. I just... Just be kind to people, you know? <laughs> like, kind to those who have yet shown no reason for you to not that makes sense. Um, it's typically how I go. It's like, if you haven't shown me a reason to be an arse to you, I'm not being an arse to you. Um, maybe that's also the, just because I'm more mature than, you know, most 16 year olds i guess um or people going like <laughs> i'm not sure yeah um and at the end of the day everyone has a different maturity level at the age they are and unfortunately a lot of people just lack being mature for a lot longer than others especially over the internet a lot of there are a lot of people who just don't care when it comes to the internet. They just don't see how anything can happen. Can't be nice and just yeah, exactly. I think when it comes to the internet, a lot of people forget that there's a person behind the other side of the screen. Um and I try to avoid ever forgetting that. Um, I also like to think that for the most part, <laughs> um, I usually take try to take into account why someone is acting. Up, I guess I don't know. Then again, that can also be problematic. Because if you're too considerate of why someone may be acting that way, another reason why I was considered an easy target, despite the fact that a lot of people thought I could kick their ass um, because of my height, because um, I was too freaking kind and too nice. Um, so I had to tough up in that over the years. It's hard finding a middle ground for shit like that, you know? It's hard finding a middle ground for anything, to be honest. Yours. Mine's not great either. I'm very bad at it. Um, you want me to think on my feet? I can't do that when I'm not trying to be clever, you know what I mean? Also, I do want to ask you, Jared, because you have shared some private information over at the minute. Um, 
usually I do upload my streams onto uh, YouTube and such. Um, is there anything you'd like me to blow up about the information you've said? <laughs> Because uh, I can do that and then just delete the bottom and stuff. I had to do that a little bit back. Because <laughs> Sam decided it'd be funny to uh, blurt out where I worked, which I was trying to keep quiet because that's private information. It was it was your fault. You literally was like. What is it? Have you heard of NordVPN? Um, unfortunately, I am not sponsored. That'd be so sad. Yeah, they asked me first, but you didn't have to go be like, oh yeah, so I got them from this shop, and that's where he works, using the actual name. I had to, um, do it. But yes, please answer the question of, would you like anything for Um, we actually do use Nord, though. Uh, it's actually the program we use. Lol. Um... You have been using it for a long time. You and Nord have been in a relationship longer than we have. You know? <laughs> also, Sam, nice to see you, by the way. You have been very quiet. Ah, that arm is in such a weird place. Um, so, I always upload my streams onto YouTube, as in, I uh, have a stream we upload channel, essentially. Um, because obviously VODs will expire over time, and I like to keep an archive of everything. So I'm happy to go through and basically blur some of your messages. I have been trying to not read them aloud too much, and I can knew anything if there's anything in particular um that you don't want necessarily about also i have fun like so like so that Uh, yeah, no worries. Uh, so I can actually just pop the link in, give it one set. Let's not take this Yeah, there we go. That's my YouTube, uh, the, my stream upload channel. I re upload every single one of my streams. So. Um, well, it's just here. I mean, at the end of the day, you shouldn't have too many people. Following you over it and stuff. Ah, uh, cause... <laughs> yeah, it's not on the Fiamish channel, that's edited videos. Which I haven't done any of them. Oh my... That's a very old video, by the way. Um, that's actually a very old video at this point. It's at least a year or so old. I made that video before I met Sam. <laughs> yeah, it's like a year... More than a year old. I haven't made a video in a very long time. It's been a while. I haven't made a video generally in a while. The last one I put up there was, um... Was the... Uh, what was it? I know what it is, but I can't remember the name. It was The Sims 2 PS2 version. Uh, the highlight reel of the stream. Uh, that I did on like, ages ago. Let me say, 
Three months ago, yeah. Um, I must say, I do also enjoy the Hi How E video, although Sam decided to make a meme out of it and memed me over it for ages. <laughs> yeah! The reason why that actually has- oh, wait, three hours ago! No, that would have been yesterday's stream, actually. <laughs> yeah, the stream one gets uploaded usually every day. I try to have it every day, um, but I also sometimes just don't have the video go public for whatever reason and have to go back and do it. Because Twitch is very easy in that you can just export videos. Yeah, six hours ago because I forgot to, um... That's one of those instances where I forgot to actually schedule it properly. <laughs> Dear the Bird, I am hoping to actually do more stuff onto my YouTube YouTube video. I have some like videos technically recorded. Um but and I say technically because they're just like art videos and stuff. Um So not not in too interesting, but I'd have to do a voiceover and stuff for him, so Yes. I just haven't yet. <laughs> I don't know how to make these eyes look like they're looking up. <laughs> I mean, let's call her. And start on the hair, because why not? I forgot that's what that was, oh my gosh. <laughs> I have had um, many YouTube channels throughout the years. Um... Because I really, really want to do it. I actually have a YouTube so uh, channel somewhere that has like 400 odd subscribers, but all for the wrong reason of I made a like a, a lyric video of a uh, popular song, uh, like a popular internet song back in the day, and it got a hell of views. And a lot of people subscribed from it, I'm pretty sure. And I was like, well, I'm leaving this channel now because that's not what I wanted to be known for. Which is always funny. But with my streaming and with like uni and with work as well, there's just not a lot of time for me to do a lot of stuff at the minute, unfortunately. Um, so, I'm just kind of, I'm putting more effort into my streams than I'm putting into YouTube. And it's likely to stay that way just because the streams are obviously easier for me to do. Um, they end up taking less time despite the fact that... Despite the fact that I stream for like 3 hours. The streams are good. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. I will be back to games eventually. Um, I've done three streams of me just drawing now, and I'm sure people are getting a little bit tired of it. But I wanted to kind of get set like this done, and I'll probably finish the rest of the stream at this point. Um, so I think I've only completed two today as well, actually. Which my plan was to actually finish them all off, but we're nearly at the end of the stream. Because unfortunately, while I, I was half an hour late, and while I really should stay for an extra half an hour, depending on how this goes, 
will entirely depend on whether or not I choose to do that. Um, in part because I have work and I kind of want to be able to chill out a little bit in terms of not speaking, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'm, it's not that I'm not chilling out right now, like, honestly, I'm just kind of chilling with drawing and such. <laughs> so... I enjoy drawing. It's giving me weird vibes, so I'm not quite sure why. The ears aren't there yet. How do I always forget them? I wonder why it looks kind of odd. Not only that, there's also a train here. I don't know why these either. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I enjoy the gaming ones. Um, because I get to play games. But, like, I've been admittedly feeling a little bit burnt out with them. Because it's trying to figure out... So... the background. I said chilly. I until I started streaming, didn't really play games very often. And I used streaming as a way to play games because I didn't play them often. Um, and it was like, if I stream them, at least I'm being productive. Because my main issue with when I was playing games was always that I didn't feel productive. Um, I felt like I was wasting my time. Which is kind of ridiculous, seeing as I enjoyed the games that I would play. Um, but I felt like I was being unproductive. And so, the streams gave me a reason to play my games. <laughs> uh, is the general stick of it. But at the minute, I've just been like, not necessarily wanting to play them all the time. And... It's a little sad. Because it's like... I want to play them. But it's to have it's having that motivation to do so that's the hard. Uh Yeah. I mean, my main reason for when I started streaming was that I ended up just having a bunch of free time as well. Um so it Streaming became something that I used to feel productive while playing games. It started out as... me essentially feeling bored, out of my mind, having nothing to do, and really not knowing what to do with myself, and feeling like a bit of a lump and a bit useless. And it was one way of me having some sort of schedule in my life. Something I would do every day that gave me a sense of something happening. Um, and I guess as I've become more busy in my day-to-day -day life, like I have a job now, I'm going to be starting uni, um, I have friends I can easily visit now, because um, I, I was very far away from a lot of my friends. And I wouldn't say streaming is a chore. Like, I enjoy it, obviously. Um, but on occasion, it feels almost like it's sometimes in the way. And I'll explain why. Uh, it feels like it's in the way simply because I usually plan around it. Um, I plan around my stream with everything. So instead of just being like, hey yeah, I'll meet X person on, you know, Monday night, because that's like, you know, day with, still free, and like, I'm technically free because I don't have work. Um, I'll be like, oh no, I can't do Monday, I can have my stream. And, you know, that's a disadvantage at the end of the day, it is because I'm not able to see my friends as much, or I don't do things as much. 
but it's something I've committed to and I feel really bad to not keep doing it. Not even, like, partly because of those who do come and watch my streams, because I appreciate the support. Um, also because, like, I've gone, I've come this far, like, how much farther can I go? Do I really want to stop here? You know? Weird dilemmas. Whoa, did I just delete something? No, okay, that's fine. I panicked. <laughs> Um, your problem is you don't play games solo for that long. See, I I had that issue until I basically forced myself to continue playing games. Um, like you don't have to stream for three hours like I do, for example. I know a lot of people who only stream for an hour and I'm kind of, Um Then again, depends what you define as long. It gets like, <laughs> an hour could be a really long time to play a game on your own. I used to sit down and maybe play a game for 5-10 minutes that I really used to enjoy because I didn't have the motivation, the inspiration to do something in that game or to continue that game. Um, and streaming kind of was like... With others you can stream- oh! See, I probably could if other people didn't get bored quickly. It was like a new game every 20 minutes. Dang! It's, yeah, it, it does be like that, it do be like that, <laughs> like, it really does. Um, yeah, some games are, I imagine some games would be different. Uh, some games are something you can play for a while, yeah. That's good. <laughs> Whoops. I find usually games that, um, the thing is, like, I don't have games definitively that I'm like, I can play this hours and hours and hours. It really depends. So, like, for example, any of the Sims games that I play, um, I find that, like, it really depends on, like, what mood I'm in as to whether or not I can play them for a while. If like I'm already kind of not into the idea of it, it definitely is something that's hard. Because sometimes I'm just not in the mood to play something, but like I've decided like that's the only thing I can think of playing. Um, because I have that happen a lot. I don't know if this is just making this look like a bit of a fungus tree, but meant to make it look like, you know, the coloration. <laughs> Fungus head. It's meant to be a tree. <laughs> you know? It's a bit tricky. <laughs> Don't think that helps. Basically, I'm trying to get this like dot effect throughout everything. Um, is the idea essentially? I think all those spots I've just done should be on a different layer. Basically, I want these to look like leaves, <laughs> and so that's what we're trying right now. With both of the colours, just to give it that little bit of 
um, diversity, I guess. This one may say. <laughs> I'm happy with that, I'm not gonna lie, I think it's cute. I don't know, the dots seem weird on some of them, but you know when it smells like yes. I mean, it definitely looks odd, but it's kind of the style that I'm going for. They're meant to look like blues falling down, essentially. Um, but yeah, <laughs> it's weird, but I like it. Um, I'd say that's another one done, to be honest. Let me just move it up and then figure out what's on these sides that's so... ...issue. Pretty sure it's on the ears. Nope. Hair? Yes. Okay. Just get a massive eraser quick. Erase there. Erase there. Do you still have your issues? No. <laughs> Get ahead. That's what we like to see. So we now have uh, Three is Love, True is Live. Uh, and then uh, is this one. I do want to come in here and just play with this a little bit, apparently. I don't know, my head's telling me. No, but my body. My body's telling me, yeah, yeah. It even is my brain today. But, oh, I have technically been up for a long time. Well, oh, I've been up since. Can you play for life? I think it's all these, even if people are confused and noise we can. Yeah, exactly. Even if they're confused by what's going on, the noise will be fine. I'm doing this for my benefit. I'm trying to create a better blend, you know. Uh, we've got this one, which is tequila. Oh, I don't think I've ever actually played this sound for anyone. Let me play it. Good. Tequila. If you know, you know. Da, 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 da. Specifically, Britain's Got Talent tequila guy. The fun thing about this one, by the way, it's transparent. It's got a transparent layer on it. It's like the whole thing is like transparent, barring the head and the umbrella. Uh, we've got this one, which is this audio. She oh, America's Got Talent. That's that audio. She deserves nothing. I don't know, it's a Got Talent thing. Uh, we've got this one, which is just this audio. Uh, which is kind of fun. Um... The dead exactly the dead takes the piano. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Um <laughs> ah, I'm so bad people I understand where these noises are coming into, where these noises are coming from. Um exactly. <laughs> uh I haven't done that one yet, so I've given up on it like four different times. We've got that one. That one. We've got variation there. Oh, I'm not sure how I feel about this one anymore. This is the only one that doesn't have dots on the outside of the blanket. Uh, on the outside of it, it's only inside the blanket. But I think it has to stay like that, otherwise it gets weird. So I actually, I actually only have two left to do. I have two left. 
that's rather impressive uh, in my books because usually I'd start a project and then give up after one or two of them. Um, so the ones I have left... <laughs> the cheese is so good. You can thank Polina for this sound. The cheese is so good! Uh, because she is the one who recorded the video. No, actually, I think she recorded it. She put on her vine back in the day. Uh, and that'll be the cheese is so good. And it'll be the new emote for it for new follows. Um, but we got default 100 and variation 69 to do. Because uh, these are bits um, that we've got going on that I've been doing. I've been working on today because I had just a uh, different bit of that. <laughs> um, so yeah, a lot. A hundred I gave up on despite having like a multiple different. I realize I've got the pink one, so you can't see all the stuff uh, on the things. I still don't know what I'm doing with it because I'm not a fan of all of this. And then we got 69, which hasn't even been started yet. <laughs> so... Because uh, the whole point of that one is it's going to be... The sound for the 69 bit, by the way, is this. Uh, order 69 from that video, if you know what that one is. And then the 100 bit one is this audio. Um, because that was a song I wrote. The Gs, exactly. Uh, and just Soldier Boy because, of course, why not? It was my childhood song, um, and I danced to that so many times the entire dance because everyone knew it. Um, but yeah, those are they're everything that we've got done. Um, I say we got done today. We got done, not that one, not even that one, not that one. We got this one and this one done, and this one done today. So it's done. You could appreciate a banger. Good. On it is so good. It's just such a good song. Um, but yeah, got three done today, which I'm honestly pretty impressed by. I'm shocked that I got three done. Uh, because usually, I think last stream it was only like two, which is weird. Um, but now I'm going to be ending the stream basically around there. I don't know because it is 20 past nine and I've almost gone for three hours, so I'm pretty happy with that. And I don't want to start another one, so I'll have a need to finish it and finish it on stream because I don't want to leave something half assed. Anyway. <laughs> That is going to be the end of today's stream. I hope you've had a good time. I hope you enjoyed. Well, thank you, Joe. I appreciate that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to head off. I don't know what I'm going to do first. Loki just going to finish off the other two drawings. Um, but probably chill out, maybe watch a movie, a movie, maybe an episode or something, or just go sit in Sam's room and uh, Sam's office while he binge play CK3, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, that's it for me for tonight. I stream Monday through Thursday. Um, 6pm to 9pm currently. BST time. But it's a good game. I'm not saying it's not a good game, honey. Um, but yeah, I stream Monday through Thursday, 6pm till 9pm BST time. Um, however, I am sometimes late and I am sorry. I realize it's become more and more regular, but food. Dang it. <laughs> Thank you, Sam. Uh, but yes, I will be back t tomorrow. Tomorrow. Gosh, the day's so quick. It feels like four days is such a short amount of time. Like, I remember when I was doing six days a week streaming, and it, it just, I, that one day off, one was not enough. Um, but two, just felt like it didn't really come very quickly. Like, ever. <laughs> anyway. That is it for me. I'll be back tomorrow at 6pm. I'm probably going to be playing games. I'm hoping. I'm planning to 
Um, although I don't know what I'm playing, so who knows what's going to happen with that. And uh, maybe I'll just be here just chatting, because that'd be fun. See how many hoops we can get in on. Uh, <laughs> I'm kidding, obviously, but let's be honest, that's what happens on a lot of just chatting streams. Anyway, and I've said anyway like four times now, I don't know. Have a good night, day, afternoon, wherever you are in your time zone, because I don't know. And I'll see you, hopefully, some of you, if not a lot of you, tomorrow. Stay.